Good afternoon, I'm Nadine Woodward. As we first reported in the 12 o'clock hour, 200 law enforcement officers are all over Spokane right now raiding spas and massage parlors. It's part of a year-long investigation to shut down businesses they believe are promoting prostitution and other illegal activity. Now those raids began straight up at noon today, stretching from the base of the South Hill on Maple, north to Francis, and east to Trent in Spokane Valley, 15 locations in all. KXOI 4 has exclusive knowledge of the investigation. We broke the story just about a half an hour ago. We have crews all over the city. Our Aaron Luna live on East Francis outside the Oriental Spa. And we lead off our coverage now with Jeff Humphrey on East Sprague. Jeff? And Nadine, this investigation actually got its start out of the Northern Quest Casino when the casino noticed there were prostitutes trying to work inside the casino. They don't want that type of business there, and so they called up the Airway Heights Police Department. They launched an investigation, and with the Kalispell Police Department tribe's help, they ran the prostitutes out of the casino. During the course of that investigation, they learned that most of the Asian spas here in Spokane are also fronts for prostitution, and they're making a lot of money at it. We're told by undercover officers who've been in spas like the Far East Spa here on East Sprague that inside here, there are no massage tables, but rather just a bunch of beds. And if you go in there and try to get a true conventional hot rot massage, you can't. They'll actually turn you out unless you're willing to pay money for sex up to $200 dollars per session and that's been going on for a long time here in Spokane. This operation Nadine intended to break the financial backbone of these businesses. The homes are going to be seized. The businesses, if they're owned by the people running it, they're going to be seized. All their ill-gotten good, their boats and cars are going to be seized as ill-gotten gain. Even the IRS is here for people who haven't paid their taxes. The police department from Airway Heights as well as the sheriff's office, they're investigating crimes like promoting prostitution, criminal profiteering, and money laundering. So it is a big deal story. It's been going on for a long time. And in the future, the people that have been patronizing these prostitutes during the course of this investigation, they're going to be identified in court documents. And we're told some of them are fairly well-known people here in town. Those names coming out in the future in the hopes of reducing the demand for prostitution here in Spokane. Nadine? All right, yeah, we'll certainly be following that. Thanks a lot, Jeff. KXY 4 is Aaron Luna also tracking this breaking story right now. He is on East Francis. Aaron, what do you have? Well, Nadine, we were just across the street waiting for this to happen. That's why I'm still wearing a white t-shirt. We didn't want to be noticed. We saw everyone pull up just around noon, and we have Washington State Patrol, which is working the perimeter right behind me. Over to my right, we have the Kalispell Tribe Police. We also have the Airway Heights Police. They just arrived a little bit ago. People went inside, executed a search warrant. We heard them announce themselves, and then several people went inside. We also see uh, law enforcement here that has federal agent written on the back of their shirt. People are carrying around bags of stuff. They have rubber gloves on. Um, they're still inside. We haven't seen anyone actually be taken out of the building, but we're still waiting here on scene to see what happens. And we'll go continue to monitor this area. This is the Oriental Spa that's on pretty much Nevada and Francis is just a little bit to the west. Uh, we'll be here most of the morning and bring you the latest updates as soon as we get them. Nadine? All right, sounds good. Thanks so much uh, for that, Aaron. KXOI 4 is all over every angle of the story. We're bringing you coverage no one else can on TV, radio, and on the web. Stay with us throughout the day for continuing coverage of the Spokane Spa Raids. Now, a news conference is planned for 1.30 this afternoon. We'll be bringing you that live on KXOI.com. This has been breaking news from KXOI 4. We'll have more updates just as soon as we get new information.